Welcome to another edition of a week of mass shootings. There were nine reported mass shootings from February 26th to March 3rd, giving us a yearly total of 69 right now. Starting in Louisville, Kentucky, on February 26th, one was killed and three injured. And this is the second one this year for Louisville. Happened at the Overbrook Apartments, which is in the Fern Creek neighborhood. The victims were all adult males. Happened around 11.40 p.m., and there were no known suspects. And this is the second homicide in this area this year. So that Fern Creek neighborhood must be a pretty bad neighborhood. Then we'll go to February 27th in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where one was killed and three were injured. And this is the first one for Minneapolis this year. 34-year-old Pierre Ramel Miller was the one that was killed. An adult female and two adult males were injured. Happened around 1.30 p.m. at East Franklin and Chicago Avenues. And police say that recurrent crime at that intersection is driven by narcotic sales. So basically, it was some drug deal gone bad. And that's apparently a bad area for that type of behavior. All right, we move to February 28th in Orlando, Florida, where one was killed and six were injured. And this is the first one for Orlando this year. Uh, 21-year-old James William III was killed, and our suspect, Wayne Grant, he was 30 years old, he was arrested. And this started as a fight over a vehicle, and it happened in the Rosemount neighborhood that has violent crime that's much higher than the Orlando average. Happened around 11 p.m., and basically this disagreement over this car not being returned by a mutually agreed upon date led to the shooting later that day. So they had an altercation earlier in the day around three o'clock, which just kind of brewed all day till it ended up leading to this uh, mass shooting. Okay, February 29th, we go to Independence, Missouri, where two were killed and two injured. And this is the first one for Independence this year. And this one was all law enforcement officers were involved. Uh, 35-year-old officer Cody Allen and Drexel Mack were killed, and two more officers were injured. Uh, 69-year-old Larry Acree was arrested, and this was basically a civil process server was shot and killed serving an eviction notice, and officers rendering aid were also shot. And this one happened at 1.09 p.m. And these ones... Some people argue shouldn't be considered mass shootings when it's with a police officer, but the the definition of a mass shooting is four or more people struck by gunfire in one single incident, and that happened with this regardless of who the people are that are being shot at. There weren't any on March 1st, so we go to March 2nd in Natchez, Louisiana, where one was killed and three were injured, and this is the first one for Natchez this year. It happened at the Natchez Place Apartments, and our victims were all 18 to 23 years old. They were all males. 19-year-old Cameron Jackson was the one that was killed. It happened at 10.20 p.m., and four men were leaving an apartment building in a vehicle, and at least one person opened fire on the car, causing the vehicle to crash into a ditch, and they found more than 60 bullet casings at the scene. Uh, that, that that's a lot of bullet casings if it was just one person shooting. Okay, we go to March 2nd, Pembroke, North Carolina, where two were killed and four injured. And this is the first one for Pembroke this year. And it happened at the Commons at Pembroke's Apartments, which is near the University of North Carolina, Pembroke. A 19 and a 20-year-old male was killed and one victim was a student of the of the six victims. One was a student at the university. Happened at 12.30 a.m. And no arrests have been made in that one. Again, on March 2nd in Houston, Texas, four were injured. And this is a second one for Houston this year. It happened at the Lincoln Bar. And this one was a drive-by. It happened at 11.30 p.m. And they, there were two guys fighting inside this bar. And two off-duty officers were working as security. They asked them to leave. The guys left and then they came back and they started an argument with security trying to get back in. And eventually they got into a car to leave and the driver of the vehicle opened fire on the security 
but didn't hit the security, hit four other people that weren't even involved in the whole situation. And the suspects were described as Hispanic men in their 20s. And there was surveillance video of the whole thing, so a search is underway for those guys. And like I said, this is Houston, so you can guess who the shooters likely were. On March 3rd in King City, California, four were killed and seven were injured. And this is the first one for King City this year. The victims were three adult males and one adult female that were killed. They were all Hispanic. This was gang involvement. It happened at a large birthday party. They're calling it a targeted shooting. It happened at like 6 p.m. A car, a Kia, pulled up. Three people got out, opened fire on all the people that were standing in the front yard and then left. And a lot of times people think that the majority of, if you don't know a lot about the mass shootings, you think a majority of the mass shootings are gang involvement. And they're actually not. A lot, the majority of them are, are for other reasons. But in California, more so than any other state, and I don't have a statistic on this. This is just going by doing these videos and seeing which ones are described as gang activity, which not that many are. It seems to me that a, a large majority of the ones in California are gang activity, more so than other states. Although maybe California describes them as gang activity where other states just, you know, call them a mass shooting and don't, don't include the gang activity part. Okay, and our last one happened again on March 3rd. This was West Point, Mississippi. One was killed and 12 were injured. And this is the second one for West Point, Mississippi. And that's not like a big city place to be having multiple mass shootings in the first, I mean, this is March 3rd. In the first basically two months of the year, they've already had two mass shootings. This is the largest victim count this week and the second largest victim count all year. 13 victims, one killed and 12 injured. Happened at Club Oasis. A 20-year-old female was the one that was killed. It happened just after midnight. And security had chased the shooter from the location into a wooded area and then the shooter escaped. And they're basically describing it as someone with a, a rifle opened fire inside the club where hundreds of people were attending an advertised party. This was some party that they advertised to get people there. Three cities had their second mass shooting this week, Louisville, Houston, and West Point, Mississippi. And six other cities have reported two this year. So in total, nine cities have reported two and Chicago and Kansas City, Missouri have each reported three. So 11 cities have reported multiple mass shootings already this year. This is a weekly video. So if you like this type of content, hit that like button, leave your thoughts in the comments and consider subscribing. And I'll catch you next week.